Okay, um, hello everyone. All right, so the next program in chapter four is tuition increase. So at one college, the tuition for a full-time student is $8,000 per semester. It has been announced that the tuition will increase by 3% each year for the next five years. Write a program, that with a, write a program with a loop that displays the projected semester tuition amount for the next five years. Okay, so we know that the current tuition per semester is eight thousand dollars in the school. It's eight thousand dollars in the school. Now it has been there's been an announcement that the tuition will increase by three percent each year for the next five years. We're going to write a program with a loop that's going to display the, the projected semester tuition amount for the next five years. So starting from year one, the, which, which is going to be a year one, we're going to the, in, the tuition is going to increase by three percent. Now the next year the, the tuition that, that the current tuition is going to be also increased by three percent, so it's so it's going to be three percent of eight thousand dollars is going to be the tuition for the next semester. Mm. All right. Now the the following year it's going to be the tuition. Yeah, so it's going to be three percent of that current tuition. Okay, added to the the current tuition. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this program, and it will make sense as we as we write it. So I'm going to go ahead, since we know that the current tuition is $8,000 per semester, I'm going to go ahead and save that in a variable. I'm going to create a variable called current tuition, and I'm going to set it to 8000 Now I'm going to go ahead and create a loop, because it says, write a program with a loop that displays the projected semester tuition amount for the next five years. So I know that I'm, I want to iterate five times. I know I want to create a loop starting from one all the way to five. So I'm going to create a loop and I'm going to create a, a target variable I'm going to call it for I'm going to say for current year current year in range and the range I want to specify is let's start from one all the way to five I'm typing six because six is not included six is basically the upper limit let me just put the colon here six is the upper limit not included if I just type in one to five like this this is basically going to give me a range from one to four. The five, the ending limit here, so this is always the starting limit, or the starting number, we're starting from one. This is the ending number, but it is not, it's not included in the list. So this is going to create a year in the range, a current year in the range of one all the way to four, five not included. So I have to type in six so that it gives me a range in a range, gives me a range of one to five, because the, en the ending limit or the last limit here is not included. So one to five, this way it's going to work. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a loop and iterate five times because it's going to start from one to five. Each time it's going to set current year to the the year. So basically we have to be, since we are moving from one all the way to five, the first time current year is going to be one. The second time this loop iterates, the current year is going to be two. The third time this iterates, current year is going to be three all the way to five. Okay, so now what we want to do is each time it iterates, we know that the loop is iterating five times. Each, each, each time it iterates, we want to go ahead and calculate 3% of the tuition, okay? Now in the calculator over here, let me just close this. In the calculator, when you put in 3%, three divided by 100, okay, you get 0 0.03. Now, we, I, I don't know why I did this, but we don't, we don't have to do this. Actually, we can go ahead and do this calculation in the, in the program. So we want to go ahead and calculate 3% of <coughs> of the tuition, right? So 3% is the same as 3 divided by 100. And I'll surround it with parentheses. Yes, yeah, so because I want that to to take effect first. So 3% off. Now you can you can read the multiplication sign as off, okay? 3 3% 3 divided by 100 off the current tuition. Is what's is what's going to be added to um, tuition. Three percent is supposed to be T. All right, three percent of the current tuition is what's going to be added to the. Okay, is what's going to be added to the current tuition, because we are adding eight thousand. We are adding three percent of the current tuition to eight thousand. All right, so it's going to be. So current tuition basically. So ba basically, this is three percent of the current tuition. So we are going to. Add three percent of the current tuition to towards our, to to current tuition itself. So I'm going to say current tuition is going to be 
so sorry current tuition plus right we are adding three percent of current tuition to the current tuition already okay so calculate three percent of the current tuition and then add it to the current tuition once we do that we want to set that as a current tuition so basically what i'm saying is current tuition is going to be equal to what's already stored in current tuition plus three percent of the of the current tuition it's going to basically that's going to be the current tuition so it's going to be eight thousand plus three percent of eight thousand and it's going to be added to current tuition and and basically s stored in current the current tuition variable okay now this can also be written as current tuition plus equals three percent of the current tuition okay so basically what we are adding what we are adding to current tuition is 3% of the current tuition, okay? So what we are adding to current tuition is basically 3% of the current tuition. Or you can say current tuition, okay, is being increased by 3%. If you, if you can you, you can read it that way if you want. Or we can take it back to how it was like this. Current tuition is equal to what's already stored in current tuition plus 3% of current tuition. But I'll take it back to the short the short form like this. So I hope, oops, I hope, I hope I, I explained it, I explained it okay there. All right, so we are calculating three, we are, add, we are calculating three percent of the current tuition and adding it to what's already stored in current tuition. And we want to go ahead and display it with the current year because remember, each time current year is going to hold the current year, it's going to start from one all the way to five. So each iteration is going to hold the current year, starting from one all the way to five. Once we've calculated the current tuition, we want to go ahead and display it. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a print statement. Print out the current year because current year, that's going to be the variable keeping track of our current year. We are the basically the current number we are in the loop, which is going to be our current year. So go ahead and print the current year. So initially it's going to be one and then it's going to go to two, three, all the way to five. Print out the current year. That's going to be the first argument I'm passing into this print function. And then the second argument I'm going to pass into the print function is going to be a tab, backslash t. Now backslash t is the tab character. Okay, both characters together is the tab character. Both characters together. So backslash t together n with no space is basically creates a tab. Just a tab. Um, it's not like a space, but it's a tab. So that's going to be the second argument I'm going to pass into the print function. The third argument I want to pass into this print function is going to be the current tuition. Now by default, I'm not by default, but anytime you pass in you pass in arguments into this print function like this, by default here, yeah, by default they yeah, are displayed with a space or they are separated with a space. They are displayed with a, with a space separate in them. So this is going to print current year space tab space current tuition that's how it's going to print by default and then it's going to end it with a new line because by default the print function ends with a new line and then current current is going to be that's a, this is the first time current is going to be increased by one current is current is going to move to two current tuition is going to be basically a, the current tuition we have now but we are calculating three percent of the current tuition and adding it to the current tuition and displaying the current year which is going to be two and then the current tuition. So basically we are displaying the current tuition for each year. Starting from one all the way to five. Starting from year one all the way to five. Now let's try this and let's display this and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and save this. <coughs> no desktop, Python. I'll create a folder in here and I'll call it tuition increase. I'll save this as tuition increase of pi. Okay, so now we have a couple of errors. Let's see. All right, so current tuition is not defined. All right, so I defined it over here as current tuition with a T over here. I spelled it wrong. Current tuition, did I? Current tuition, tuition, tuition. Did I spell this wrong somewhere? 
So what was it saying? Let me let, let me let me see the error again. All right. So this this is this is what it's wait. Over oh, over here. <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm missing a T. I'm missing a T before the capital T. So I'm going to put it there and run this. And we can see that it's displaying it correctly. It's displaying the year one. So three percent of eight thousand is two hundred and forty dollars. You can you can try that and see just to make sure. I mean, it should be correct. Three percent, three divided by hundred off eight thousand. We can see it's two forty. So that's going to be the first time. And then now we are we are calculating three percent of eight two four zero. So a three percent, okay, off eight two four zero. And we can see that's two hundred and forty seven point two. When we add what's already stored in tuition, the current tuition, which is eight two four zero, we're getting eight four eight seven point two. So each year we it's increasing by three percent. Now, one more thing we need to do. We need, we need a header. We need to give it a header, and then we need to format these numbers. So before the for loop, I'm going to go ahead and create a header here. And I just want to create a header for this. So I'm going to I'm going to say year. I'm going to, the first argument I'm passing into the print function is going to be the year. <coughs> in the first argument, in, in double quotes, I can create a tab by just typing backslash T. The second, actually, I don't need a second argument. I don't. Um, so basically, just in this argument, I can because it's you know they're all strings. I can after creating the tab, I can just display also the tuition, yeah, tuition like this, and I can just run this and see how it looks like. Because okay, so yeah, and tuition, I can create a new line character. So backslash n, just like the backslash t creates a tab, backslash n creates a, a new line. It takes the position to the next line, and then anything that comes after the after the new line character. Is displayed on that next line so right now I'm on the next line right under here so I'm going to put some dashes to underline here and then I'm going to create a tab and backslash T and then some dashes to underline tuition like this now let's try to see how this looks okay so now we're looking good now all we have to do is format these two numbers uh, actually not not these two just this not just this current tuition we don't have to format the current here so I'm going to go ahead and format this number. Now the format function takes two arguments. It takes what you want to format. I want to format the current tuition. And the second argument is how you want it formatted. So I'm going to specify specify it in over here. I'm going to basically type my sp format specifier in here. Now because the A24, basically the, the tuition, okay, the tuition, these these values, because it's a float or they are float, I'm going to type in F. I want to, I'm formatting them as a float, as float. And I'm, I want to format it to two decimal places. So I'm going to specify the position. So I'm going to type in point 0.2 to represent two decimal places. If I wanted to format to three decimal places, I'd say point 0.3. But I want it formatted to two decimal places, so I'll, I'll say point 0.2. And then I want a dollar sign right in front of, of, of the number right so I'm going to put it here now we'll fix it we'll fix any any errors we have just I'm, but I'm putting the dollar sign right before the value is printed so now we can see that it's formatted formatted to two decimal places and the dollar sign but we can see this space here is a problem that's because by default remember I said by default the argument pass into the print function is displayed separately with a space so basically, this whole argument is one, um, sorry. This argument here is separated with a space, a tab. Before this, but after the second argument, there's another space before the return value of the format function, and, that, and that's the space here. So we can go ahead and change the separator, which is SCP, as an as another argument. Type in as, as another argument SCP. SCP stands for separator. We are, we are changing the separator from a space to nothing. Now, this is a space, but this is nothing. We're setting it to nothing, meaning remove that space and set the separator that, that separates these arguments by default to nothing. So now when I run this, we can see that. Uh, let's see. We have an error here. Let's see. All right. It takes format takes no keyword argument. Or oh, did I type it? I typed it. I'm sorry. I typed it in the... We can see over here that I typed it in the format in the format function. The format function takes two arguments, so I don't need I need to take it out. And I'll
calls it. So outside of format function, as, as another argument, SCP is going to be called to nothing. And now we can see that the dollar sign is attached to the, the, the actual values. All right, so that's it. That's it. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next program. All right, bye-bye.